Hey guys, I am Torture Boy, and welcome back to My Hero Academia. We're back in my house. Um, I hope you enjoyed last week. I know I saw some people like, oh, we prefer it without, you know, with you just on your own. And to be honest, I absolutely adored having them there. And, uh, but yes, it's just me back being here today. Oh no. I just realised, guys. I Don't worry, this hasn't been in the bin for a while. I've just literally put it in, but they got rid of my, um... Straw. Straw! <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, so last episode, we had a very interesting episode. We saw the new costumes, we saw the new super suits. It was... It was amazing. It was awesome. And, uh... Yeah. So... It started off with Katsuki not being happy. He was like... I know he doesn't have any powers. How did he get these powers? How is he doing this? How is he how is he like making this work? Um and he was just furious. He was basically really pissed off at the fact that, you know, Izuku had basically you know, become very powerful and such. Um and we saw a few childhood flashbacks there just at the very beginning. I'm intrigued to see if they will become a recurring theme or whatever. I don't know. Um but I'm intrigued to see if they do, because I would actually love it to be, like, we see glimpses of their backstory over and over again until we see the main thing. Um, which would be, which would be awesome. But Izuku still came last in the, in the tests. Um, now, originally, the, uh, Erasure Head said he would not have sent anyone home anyway, but All Might was like, no, that's not, that's not true. Because... You've done this before, and you sent other people home, so why did you not send Izuku home? It must be because he sees potential in him, I, I suppose. That's what my view is anyway. He must see some kind of potential to not wanting to send him home. Um, but yeah. Um, so we had a bit of a... Uh, we had a bit of an all-night V is our moment there. Or is our, whatever you want to say. Um, with all my sort of getting the upper hand, saying basically like, uh, you know, like... And you must see potential in him or something, otherwise, yeah, it wouldn't be the, uh, it wouldn't be the case. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool that we sort of saw All Might knows this, you know, there's some history there, they know each other, they know their, they know their level, they know their record. And uh, I quite like that, actually, I quite like having a character that thinks they, you know, they can say, oh, I wasn't going to send anyone anyway, and then for another character go, no, that is totally in your character, that is what you would do. Um, why didn't you do it? And sort of call them out for it, I like that psychology and, and stuff like that. Um... We had some also some some very cool moments. Tenya is pretty cool. I'm 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 starting to really enjoy Tenya's scenes. He he is a he is a lot to deal with sometimes, but he's also a lot of fun. And um, sorry guys, I'm just making sure I've got the right thing up. And uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he seems to be like someone who you would get along with quite well, but also has a very serious side about him. He's a very hard-working individual, I get. I, I find that a lot. Sorry guys, I don't like working off my phone, I like working on my pen and paper. I work off my phone for all the other videos, but for this, I like the pen and paper. So it was weird last week not to have that. Um, so my notes are pretty bland, and I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> remember, <laughs> like, remember. Um, but Achoko didn't know Izuku's name, which I thought was, like, really sad. Like, he's been falling over her for, like, the past three, four episodes, and now he's like, well. Wow, that's just rude. Um, but we, we, you know, she learned his name and she said, uh, what did she, did she prefer Deku? That's right. So he was like, Deku it is. And that's his, I think that's going to be his superhero name now. It's all Deku, which was cool. Um, and then we got to like a bit of a montage with the hero curriculum. We saw him take curriculum. Oh, curriculum. Curriculum. There you go. Um, we, we saw all that, a bit of a montage of like, Master Chef is a fucking robot. That was pretty cool. Um... We had like the DJ teacher teaching, um, y'all yelled at me in the comments about the extras. They're just extras to me, don't yell at me. I, I didn't know what those two fuckers were talking about. <laughs> um, even if I do love them. Um, I just put all my so cheesy. It could apply to anywhere in the episode because it's true. <laughs> but he is and he's awesome and, and I, I actually adore all that to be honest. He is a, he is a legend um, in his own right. Uh, and then we came to the most amazing part, which was definitely the superhero costumes, and we got to see 
them all just like walk out like dun 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 and I love the bit where Izuku came out, um, and he's obviously the one his mum had made him, which was so fucking heartwarming, it was beautiful actually. Um, and... All Might was like, noticing all the similarities between his costume and All Might himself, and he was like, don't make it so obvious. I did not notice that at all, up until the point where he like pointed it out. So I don't think it's that obvious. Although he's... well, we'll come to that in a minute. Um, but I love the fact it was his mum who made him a super suit and he put it on because his mum made it. Mm, was so, cute. Oh, so cute, he's appreciating his mum and I love it. Um, yeah, um, Ochoco and Tenya suits are cool, although Ochoco's is skin tight, as she said, it's she's hard to breathe. I would have had like, there would have been layers for days on my, <laughs> just layers so people couldn't see how fat I am. <laughs> Um, I wrote Dick Laser is annoying as fuck, but seriously, could apply any episode at any time. Um, and then I was like, they're gonna fight! They're gonna fight! Because they had to fight each other, and that was what the mission was. You were gonna team them up in pairs, and you were gonna fight each other. Um, and it came down to, like, all the other teams. It was Tenya, um, Kachan, um, no. Is that one of Bakugo's names? Kachan? I think it is. I'm gonna call him Kazuki, because I'll fuck it up, and it'll be like... No, because Deku is what? Yeah, so it's Kachan. Yes? Yeah, I think it's Kachan. Kats Katsuki, Bakugo, whatever. Just give him one name. Why is it? What is going on? Um, but anyway, uh, so they, they teamed up uh, Tenya and Katsuki and Izuku and Ochako. And then um, they're going to fight. And then Tenya's moral compass was everywhere. I was like, we're the, we're the villains. What do we do in this situation? I think it was really fun to see that character in that kind of situation. Because he's like, he does not have a fucking clue how to operate as a villain. Which is just fucking brilliant. I love it so much. I love I love stuff like that. I like seeing characters sort of like, they are dead. They are. It's like a playing a paladin like I play in D&D. Although my paladin's a bit crazy, so it doesn't matter. But... Most paladins like very lawful and justiful and like, yeah, I know we do this and we do it right. So to put someone like that into playing a villain is kind of like, what the fuck? And I loved it so much. Um, I broke Katsuki needs a Tic Tac, probably just to calm him down. <laughs> I've had too many Tic Tacs today, which is why I'm on a diet. Uh, and then, and then, right, Katsuki came around the corner and he was like jumping with a punch. He's like, I'm taking you down. And then Izuku was like, oh, oh, bitch, not today. And she was like, she, he, he grabbed him, she was, he grabbed him and he just like slammed him on the ground. Parrying his movements and, and recognizing the move he was going to throw before, which I think is such a good callback. The fact that... He's been his friend for so long and he's studied his style, well, not friend, for so long and he's studied his style and everything that he knows what, what um, Katsuki's going to do next. And I fucking loved that so much. Izuku is just MVP. I just, he's just so good and I just absolutely adored it so much. Just so much. Just like the whole, just like, I didn't just watch you, I watched everyone. Just like flipping him and everything. It was just sick AF. That means as fuck. And, yeah, yeah, I'm mean, so excited for this episode, guys, i got to be honest, um, Katsuki really hates him, he really hates him, like, there is some, some shit went down there, you know it, I know it, we just don't know what it is, um, but I feel like we may be finding out in this episode, guys, uh, so buckle yourselves in, because this is My Hero Academia, this is season one, episode, what episode are we on now, six, seven, bloody Nora, batty, we're on episode seven, guys, it's, uh, Feels like it was two minutes ago that we started episode one. Um, but this, anyway, is a... <laughs> this is My Hero Academia. This is episode seven. I hope you have enjoyed this little mini review. I don't know how many people stay for the whole review thing at the beginning. Um, but if you did, oh, hello, welcome. And I hope you enjoyed Anthony and Brianna being there. Last week I saw a couple of people didn't. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's always nice to change things up and mix things up. So, yeah. This... 
Who's my hero academia? You are an amazing, beautiful bunch of crazy people just like me, and that's why I love you so much. And honestly, can I just say before we start, I know I keep stalling with the start, I'm sorry. Um, you are one of the loveliest comment sections I've met, right? There are some vile comment sections. Not like to me, well, there are some to me. But like, some people just bicker about things and everything. You guys are frigging lovely. And it is an honour to make these videos for you. This is My Hero Academia. I hope you are ready and yeah, I hope you enjoy this. You can watch the next reaction on Patreon. It should be up in like 12 hours from when this one goes up on YouTube. Okay, bye bye. Let's go. Look at that. There was nothing cool about him. Oh. His quirk made him change. Ooh, interesting. Truth. All men are not created equal. Nope. When I was four years old, I learned that some kids have more power than others. Agreed. Deku V's Kachan, that's what it's called? Holy shit! Look, I was right, it is. Give me a status report. Where are you? Just shut up and defend the weapon! I've got more important things to worry about. That's life. Even when the odds aren't in our favor. True. We fight. Life sucks. For heroes, anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ. No shit. Damn. Oh. Erasure hero. Knowing him, he'll be impatient. Sick. He spent years taking notes on different heroes. He has. He internalized everything he learned. He knows everything because he's a clever motherfucker and I love him so much. It is. Being a fanboy, guys, it means everything. He kicked first this time. He's switching things up so I can't predict his moves. Exactly. Does that mean he's worried? I think so. Ha! Well. I'm not gonna be able to fight him at close range now. No. I need some kind of plan. Why are you being so mean, Kacha? Why don't you understand? What? Whoa. Dude, there has to be a new record. I bet it is. Wow. <laughs> cool. Where's yours? Well, uh, you always thought he was better than him. <laughs> but he wasn't. What did you know? It's perfect. Yeah. Right. Mm. I am amazing. In fact, I bet there's no one as great as Oh, I it's am. a god complex. Wow, you're so lucky. You're awesome. amazing, Kachan. When I get mine, I hope it's just as cool. Whatever, Deku. No matter what power you end up with, you'll never be able to beat me. A worthless it's a god complex. Flash. Right, I get it now. I understand. I've got it. It's cool. I need your stupid help. Are you alright? Are you hurt? You hate that, don't you? I was worried you might be because... dead or something. Fucking god you complex! Like I was some kind of weakling. Yep. Kachan! I couldn't just stand there and watch you die! Like you! But I'm not! I'm so much better than you are! What a god complex! Alright, Achaka. Let's kick his ass. Myself to intent. <laughs> I won't fail this trial and shame I love this dude so much. Evil to become a hero. Behold, I am the personification of <laughs> He's so serious. I know. Raraka, is that you? Uh, playing the part. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying not to break. Peter knows that I'm here. Sorry. Right now he's monologuing. <laughs> he's monologuing. We probably don't have much time left now. Oh, we have to Monster blast. Oh. Nobody's going too far. Young Bakugo, don't do it. You'll kill her. He'll be fine as long as he touches. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Come in. 
Okay, so so Kazuki went a little too far. Get out, get out. I know that as a teacher, I should stop this fight now. But you want to see what he's got. Oh shit! No, the... I can't dodge this! I'll have to counterattack! Like this! Ah, nicely done! Oh shit, not nicely done! Whatever. Fate attack like that requires an extra. All the extras are getting conversations! <laughs> I know they're not really extras, I'm sorry. Bakugo is uber talented. I know. Here it comes, Nerd! Come on, come on, Izuki! Oh fuck! Deku, don't you ever forget what you are? You're a weakling. You idiot! Oh shit! You've always been stronger, Kachan. I know that you're better than me. Can you see? That's why I want to beat you because you're amazing. You're even more of an idiot than I realized. Come at me! Damn, here we go. time I hear that much passion in his voice is when he talks about being a hero. Yeah. In order to achieve his dream. He has to be. Not for me. Holy shit, here we go. Both of you stop! Uraraka, no! Huh? You want to beat him. That was lit as fuck! Man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh. That was motherfucking. I have got three pages of notes. Like, holy shit, we have a lot to discuss, my, my people. So if you are leaving me now after the reaction, goodbye. If you want to stay for the discussion afterwards, stay here. Um, I'm just going to write in the episode title and then we will get started on the discussion afterwards because we have a lot to talk about, kids. Like, holy mother of holy. Wow. Like, that was, that was insane. Um, like, sorry, I just, I just want to write this and then I will... You will have my undivided attention. Okay, catch you, Jakubish, catch on. Okay, so if you are leaving us right now after the reaction, bye. I will see you later, guys. Right, let's get into it. Let's talk about the discussion. I love it. I'm out of coat. It's a sad day. Um, so we started off in the fighting arena. The entire episode took place in the fighting arena, kind of, but we had some flashbacks as well. Um, and yeah, uh, we we got the backstory of Izuku and Kachan, and it is uh, like holy mother fuck Izuki Izuku Izuku what the fuck what matter Deku whatever um, <laughs> Izuku Izuki I'm, I mean no it's Kazuki and Izuku wow I, wow my whole m mind just turned into mush then um, we got the backstory of them well a little bit anyway we we saw we saw the beginning friendship he yeah. He was enamoured by Katsuki. That was the first thing we learned about it. He was like, that was the one that was the third thing I wrote down, enamoured by Katsuki when he was a kid. Um, he was just 
he wanted to be him. He wanted to be as good as him. He wanted to be better than him. Um, but his quirk made him change, Katsuki, this is. It made him more, like... I guess with a, a quirk like that, which is explosions and, and, and such like that, you, you, you become more focused on what you can destroy. And I, I imagine it can warp you in a way, you know, and I felt like that isn't exactly um, very... Okay, sorry. Um, it isn't exactly, like, very... Uh, Hero-like, you know what I mean? Like, causing explosions is a destruction. It's, it's, it's destruction, so I imagine it... I wonder if quirks can warp minds as well. I don't know. We will find out, I guess. Um, and then Tenya was like, Kachan, what are you doing? You know, we need we need you. We need you to get back up here. We need you. And he got hung up on. And I just love that moment. When Tenya, the school good boy, and we talked about this at the beginning, of how his mind, how his mind works and everything, when Tenya, the, the, the perfect student, has to deal with becoming a villain. It was fucking amazing. But we'll get to that in a moment. Um, as as something I picked up on uh, All Might said during, you know, with all the other extras. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling them extras until you guys get so mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. I just don't know them, so for now they're extras. When I know their names, I won't. Although the kid with eyes down one side of his body, I think that's the one Brianna loves. I think. Um, along with Kachan, so I'm not sure. But that's the one I see a lot of gifts of on Twitter. You can control like fire and ice, I think. I don't know. But, oh, well, we saw the ice part anyway. Um, and yeah, life kind of sucks for heroes, isn't it? And it kind of, you know, it's it's kind of hard for them. They they don't get much glory and they don't get much deeds. They have to, you know, it's always harder going into a battle because usually the villains have the upper hand from the start because they're villains and it's what they do. Um... I just loved how Izuku, every time Kachan moved, I wrote, damn, because every time Kachan moved, like throwing a punch at the very beginning, Izuku formulated a plan, he knew it, but Kachan showed some serious intelligence, he learned what Izuku was doing, and then course corrected to stop him from being able to match his abilities, which I thought was just fucking amazing, like it was so cool to see these characters not only building off each other, but learning different sort of techniques and learning how to how to deal with different things. I thought it was really, really, really cool. Um, and being a fanboy is everything. Like, you learn so much. Like It's like when you watch a lot of action films. This is very true. You tend to find that people who watch a lot of action films, a lot of spy films, a lot of, like, um, agents fighting films, pick up on moves that could save them in life-saving situations. Like, there's one move in this film, and I can't remember what for the life of me what it's called, but it's about a, a girl from, like the middle of, of, of Europe, uh, I think she originally originated in Africa and then she came to Europe to learn and she becomes an assassin to find her father's killers and there's this one move that I will never forget and it's where some guy's got her by a wire throat here and he's pulling her and they've just had this massive fight and they're both exhausted but he's got the upper hand with his physical body strength and she takes off her belt, rips it off, wraps it around his neck and pulls him to the ground and seriously, I've never forgot that. Like, if I was ever in that situation and I couldn't get out that would be my go-to move. Take my belt off, wrap it, or get a tea towel, wrap it around his neck, and pull him around because they can't hold on. It's it's seriously good. But what I'm saying is that's what how Izuku knew all his moves because of watching and learning and picking it up. And I think it's so fucking clever how he did that. He knows what it, uh, Katsuki's gonna do. So Izuku is just he was on the ball at the beginning until Katsuki started to change it up. Um, the idea was we were going to get a 2v1 fight <laughs> um, with Katsuki and Ochako taking down Tenya once Katsuki had, uh, once Izuku had dealt with, with Izuku and Ochako, so many, so many names, Izuku and Ochako taking down Tenya once Katsuki had been dealt with, but it didn't quite work out like that. Um, but we'll get there, you know, because I feel, like I wrote here, I don't think wrapping him tape will be enough. I don't think that's going to work because he's so angry. He doesn't care about winning anymore. He just wants to prove to Izuku that he's better than him. And I wasn't quite sure. And I, do you know what? It's taken me seven episodes to work it out. So when I wrote it down, uh, you know, yeah, it was everything. But I did love the bit where Izuku, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I did love the bit where Izuku was like, he takes about everything he said about, uh, you know, I could never beat you, he was like, I'm going to beat you, and if I can't, I'm going to give it my best shot. He was like, he got up and he, he went and did it, he went and kicked ass. Um, 
but they have serious issues with each other. They legitimately do, um, like, serious issues. <laughs> Um, always been a prick, always thought he was better, that was my original writing, and then I didn't, still didn't get it, I still didn't understand. And then those two little words came to me, and it all just clicked in place. Either a superiority complex, more, probably more a god complex, really. One of the two, probably, well actually no, it's probably more a superiority complex, but either could, either works in this situation. <laughs> He thinks everyone else is beneath him, and he thinks he's more powerful than everyone else. That is a god complex. That is to say, there is no one in the world who could beat him. Who, you know, he ain't taking on All Might. All Might would kick his ass, but he still thinks he is the most powerful person in the world. And that is just the definition of either a superiority complex or a god complex. One of the two. Um, probably interchangeable, and probably varying with how his emotions go. But that was from when he was a kid, and he's carried that with him. He's carried that fire that he's better than everyone else. And we saw a very cool clip where he fell from a log and into the river, and everyone else was like, wow, he can do it. He was strong because they, they looked up to him, and they knew. They knew he could do it. They knew he was strong, but Izuku doubted him. So he ran down, not out of any, you know, need like of like, haha, he, he probably isn't okay, I'm going down there. It was like, oh my gosh, is he okay? I'm going to run down there. And that, that question of is he okay, which Deku, um, which is, oh, fuck me, why can't I just have one name each? Which Katsuki views as, um, like, is Katsuki doesn't think you should even question whether he's okay. He will always be okay because he's better than everyone else and he can do it better than anyone else. And Izuku's like, maybe he's not. And just natural, and that's just a natural worry, and that shows he cares. But that set Kachan off, and that was it. That was motherfucking it, and from that day I feel like, well, he was always a prick, but from that day, he hated him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent now to something fucking hilarious. A Choco... I, I put, go kick Tenya's ass, and then Tenya is fucking insane, like that evil monologue, what the fuck, like what even the fuck, it was amazing, like, he was just like going on and on, and Achako, me and Achako were legitimately on the same level, it was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing man, calm down, it's like, you don't have to be a neat villain, just think like one. <laughs> Uh, it was so good, and then we got a bit of an Achako, um, Tenya Spar, and Tenya got the upper hand, um, which I think is very cool because I, I like the idea that different people's quirks, they might all be on the same level, but different people's quirks work better against some than they do against others, and we saw that in the beginning where that tree grew, was like, my, my powers won't work here, and then another hero came in, and he was like, my powers will work here, and I, and I just, I like that, I like that a lot, like, some people's powers are, are specific for some things, so, yeah, um, but, and I just wrote, beat him a chocker, <laughs> uh, and I, I also wrote, um, Katsuki went way too far with, with, the, with the fire punch, it was way too far, I also wrote, I ship it so much, so I don't know where I am with these characters, um, but that was such an intense moment, it's like, you can't beat me! Mizuku was like, nah bitch, listen up, <laughs> here's the story of how it all began. <laughs> um, but he's trying to prove himself and he wants to show that he's better than everyone, and that is Deku's... No, no, Kachan's life prophecy. Seriously, one name each please, it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> and, but that is uh, Kachan's life, life, life thing to prove that he's better than everybody else. And the fact that Deku even shows sympathy to him or stuff like that frustrates him to no end. And I love it. Um, the words that stand out to me. Oh, I also wrote all the extras are getting lines. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the thing that stands out to me the most of this episode, though, is you idiot. That was such a good line. And, you know, he was like, I don't wanna, I don't think, yeah, he was like, I don't think that I'm better than you, I know you're better than me, I know you're tougher than me, and that is why I have to fight you, that is why I have to beat you, because I wanna be better than you. Really, from a standpoint, when you look at it, <clears throat> Kachan feels Izuku thinks he's better than him. Izuku knows Kachan is better than him. 
They are two peas in the same pod who cannot get on. And then, you know, the giant Izuku punch, like, fucked up everything, broke his arm. But it was fucking amazing. And I loved the detail on this arm where he, where he shattered his hand from the explosion. That was sick as fuck artwork. And, and Ochoco with the fucking pull move of, like, grabbing all the nuclear weapon, brilliant. Just, it was just, it was so good. And I just wrote game over, because it was, it was over. Izuku and Ochoco won tenure. And definitely Katsuki uh, lost that. And, um... I loved, I loved how Izuku's final line of, well, when they were like, trading punches, I loved Izuku's final line of, I can't beat you, but I can win. And that is probably the biggest metaphor for um, losing the battle to win the war. You've ever heard. You, know, you can lose a battle, but you'll win the war. Um, and I loved it. I loved it so much. Thank you so much for watching. This has been My Hero Academy. You've been awesome. Or Academia, if I could fucking say it right. Um, this has been Deku V's Kachan, who are people whose names are lost in my memory now. <laughs> and that was insane. I love the superhero moments in the show, like when the building exploded. It was just like, fuck yes. I love it so much. Oh, we've run really late tonight. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I have. And if you did, please leave a like or subscribe. Or go watch the next reaction on Patreon, which will be up in about 12 hours. Go do that. Um, I love you all. It's only five dollars. Just saying, you don't have to. No, you don't have to, really. <laughs> um, I love you all, uh, and I will see you next week for more. And FYI, if you're watching this on a playlist, and you're like, Jesus, that guy eats a lot of McDonald's, it's every Friday. I do this every Friday. Leave me alone. I'm losing weight. <laughs> Bye.